Do you need to find the mass percents of iron and chlorine in iron 2 chloride? Well, my friend, you've clicked on the right video. I'm going to teach it to you in about two minutes. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements that we see in the compound, right? So we see iron Fe and we see chlorine Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of uh, iron, there's an invisible one, so that means there's one iron. At the bottom of chlorine, there's a two, so that two tells us that there are two atoms of chlorine. Next, we're going to multiply it by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table. Let's take a look. Iron's mass is 55.85 and chlorine is 35.45, right? So we're going to write those in. So 55.85 for iron, and then chlorine is 35.45. I don't even know. My writing is getting worse and worse. Shouldn't it get better the more you practice? No, I guess not. So to find the total mass of the element, we're simply going to multiply this row and across. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85. And then the total mass of chlorine, when we multiply those two together, is going to be 70.90. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, it's very simple. Just add up this column now, and that works out to be 126.75. And why do we do this process? Because we need to find the total mass of the compound here in order to find the percent compositions of each element. That's the first step. Now I'm going to add a column to this table. The rest is going to be easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent here of iron, all we're simply going to do is take the total mass of that iron, divide by the total mass of the compound. That's why we had to find the total mass first. So we're going to take the 55.85, divide it then by the total of 126.75, simply multiply that by 100, and that's going to equal our percent now of iron. So this works out to be 44.06. And that's an for iron, and that's in, I was going to say in terms of percent, but obviously. So then chlorine is going to be 70.90. Take that total and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, or 126.75, multiply it by 100, right? This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. And then when we calculate that, that should work out to be roughly 55.94%. And if you add those two together, nice little way to check, should equal 100. So that's what you got on the problem. Take care.